I said I wasn't gonna do it, but here it is. It's Faith Chapter 3 Demo. And I just did Faith 2, and there was just a highlight for Faith 1 and 2. So it's this again. Here we go. Okay, I had to just adjust the volume a bit. Is this a spooky hotel? It's Luigi's Mansion 3. This year, it's all about spooky hotels. Whoa, what the hell is this? Is it a magic wand? Doesn't seem to react. A ritual dagger. Oh yeah, it is a dagger. I thought it was a magic wand. It's gonna say Wingardium, come at me, brah. Sorry. Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must. S yes, but what about second death? Just one must sacrifice seven by passing them through the ca uh, carved out. By passing them through the carved out of the impure vessel's face. Huh? Then shall the unspeakable reward the blank with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. <laughs> what? My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. This is very surprising. Something is going on where I'm just not expecting certain words. Anyway, where the fuck is Gary? This is Percocet. Can I use the controller? I can use a controller for this. Yeah, the dagger reacted to my cross, but it didn't do anything. Oh, there's a trilogy of Faith games coming out. Well, I mean, it's Faith 1, 2, and 3. This is the third of the trilogy. So, this is going to complete the saga. Hang on a minute. I have to change the category. I know that's really loud. It was, uh, still Mario 64, which, again, would be a very confusing thing for people joining off of the main page. Whoa, fuck you. Halloween fireworks? <laughs> I thought it was thunder. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the darkness 
beneath. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Who the fuck is Gary? Some kind of zeal is blocking my way. You know, Halloween has a very distinct mood for me. And Halloween this year, with the weather being really nice, and it was just lightly raining, but it stopped. I was like, yep, that's the Halloween. That is the Halloween. And there were a lot of really cool decorations around here. I know a lot of people said it was snowing where they were, but... It was cool. Today was, was kind of cool. And, um, again, it, there was a lot of trick-or-treating at, like, 2 p.m. But other than that, it definitely was a really, really cool Halloween. And I... There is no seventh floor. There is no Planet B. Um... I really kind of wish I could have spent this one as a kid. Because it's the perfect Halloween. But you know what? Twenty years ago, yes, I'm dating myself, but twenty years ago... ...there would have been egg and shaving cream fights. I don't know- oh, shit. Bad floor. What? Oh, well, an egg and shaving cream fight is, um, well, people, you know, I don't know if it was just 20 years ago because it was, like, a generational thing. Or, like, just kids grew up watching, like, epic skateboarding videos <laughs> and really, you know, listening to, like, grungy music. And so there was, like, this defiance every Halloween where it wasn't just about getting candy. It was about throwing toilet paper at people's houses and eggs and shaving cream. Could be a regional thing. But it wasn't, like, mean-spirited. It didn't really... You know, people wouldn't TP an entire house. It, you just see TP in the streets. Um, but, but, that said, my friends and I would, f um, bring shaving cream, and you'd put, like, a nail in the shaving cream to make it squirt... ...real far... ...and real fast. And then you could just throw eggs at your friends. I kind of missed that. It just felt like it was the one night where you could do some stupid shit, and not be harmful. But you could do some stupid shit, and it was just generally understood that's... That it was just, you know, it's Halloween. I kind of miss that. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. M80s and pumpkins? I don't think me and my friends ever did that. There is a seventh floor. What? Vinny, why wouldn't you go out with your little cousins and spend Halloween with them? My little cousins are now in their 20s. Or really, really young, like three, you know? Or they moved to a different, like, state, you know? Oh, I had a good day. I wasn't trying to, like bust in on anyone's Halloweening, but...
did you do the footage for the new song? No, Jax did it. Jax is the dude who made the video. Um, he got the footage and edited everything in Pittsburgh, and the very end of it is my footage from Manhattan, the night I was at the Rock and Tour show by the Manhattan Center. Also, for those that heard the song, I think you can tell which band influenced it. That was actually, uh, written before Kerosene. Radiohead? No. Well, maybe a little, like, um... Sacrifice what you cling to. What? Yeah, like, Idiotech, maybe. But mostly Tim. Tim's Impala. Um, pretty much the rest of the album doesn't sound like that, weirdly enough. So I hope you enjoy the rest of it. It's gonna be really weird and varied. Pull up on handle to open hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure you sac your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once Dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Give up the cross. Well, now I don't have a weapon. You have to give up everything. I need the knife. Wait, go back and watch the monitor? What the hell? Holy shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, I definitely did not tr try to go to the fourth floor. Right now, I can't see. Oh, God damn it. What the hell? I was hoping we would get at least one Mortis. Well, shit. For me, this game is proof that less is more, and leaving things to the imagination is usually better than showing it all. Which is an old adage for some of the best horror movies. Apparently, Doctor Sleep, the Shining sequel, does that pretty well. Um, people that have seen it said it was more in line with the way The Shining is set up than 
a modern horror movie. I say modern, but there's good modern ones. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There's a dude in the fucking closet! Weirdly enough, the most engaging games that I played this year for Spooptober, aside from, like, the, the big-budget ones, which were, you know, Resident Evil and Dead Space 2, which are fun, good games, but the ones that really won me over were uh, No Delivery, this, uh, well, you know, N a Faith Chapter 2, How do I retrieve the dagger? Oh, ah! And Lost in Vivo, too, um, also was great. Lost in Vivo, I was gonna say to a lesser effect, but no, that game was awesome. Give me the knife. Those are stairs? Yeah, those are stairs. Oh. <laughs> oh no. No! I played uh, a lot of horror games this year. And, um, some of them started feeling very formulaic and started losing their impact so next year i'm going to space them out a little bit i think not that i don't enjoy them but i try to find more varied ones uh the other thing is too i didn't finish monstrum i never completed a run of monstrum and i have a bunch of keys for it so i don't know what i'm going to do i might save them for next year or i might just do it after halloween at a random time i don't i don't know And then I'm going to, you know, check out Monstrum 2. Al Camilla went way too far with the less is more thing. True. Yeah, I mean, you need a balance. What is it? It reacts to the cross, but it doesn't do anything. My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood, the ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am... beyond. For me, in the unseen world, look for me, rather, in the unseen world, if you dare, Tiffany. That word just did not register in my brain. The word look disappeared entirely. I wonder if that was spooky ghost magic. Calling me a whore. This is a priest. Oh wait. I don't know what he said. What did he say? You belong to her. 
I thought he said, you boomer. I'm controlling this. What the fuck? Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I've decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I shall kick my other lords from Lisa. Um, 505A? Is that the fifth floor? Fifth floor. This is pretty cool. This is- this definitely changes things up in a- in a pretty cool way. I like that flash the camera mechanic. Even if it was a little bit... extra spooky. It was utilized well. And it didn't overstay its welcome. I also like this upgraded cross that I have. <laughs> you have to, like, sacrifice the cross to upgrade it. It's kind of awesome. Good game! Some kind of zeal is blocking my way. L2 cross. That's the dagger. Yeah, and the mask. Vinny, I just emailed you Vine No Nut. Thank you. That's perfect. Good timing. One thing. Well, the mask... I could go that way, right? But it's quicker if I go the other way. I can get there from here. The entrance isn't blocked anymore. Could just leave. Fuck this, I'm out. I'm gonna see if I can get, like, a filter to make me sound like the Mortis dude. Because I have a number of different filters that I could mess around with. If I, like, cut... I think if I just EQ the voice a certain way, 
They make plugins to make your voice sound shitty. Like, they actually, you know, have plugins that you can download that will turn any sound into, like, a really crusty, low-quality sound on purpose. Vinny, I have the legit- I legit have the voice plugin for it. Please, uh, I'll take that, Desert. I'll take that off your hands. How can they achieve the effect? Um, bit crushing, and, uh, it, bit crushing is kind of like ball crushing, but... Bits instead of... Anyway, it's, uh... It's pretty good. And then you cut out a, uh, a number of different ranges in, in your, uh, e if you EQ your voice a certain way. And you get rid of, like, most of the treble and most of the bass and just leave a degree of the mid, uh, if that makes any sense, you can make it kind of just sound really, really shitty like this. What floor was it? It was fifth floor, yeah? 5A again. It's a text-to-speech software for C64. Oh yeah, this specific type of, you know, making text-to-speech... I'm assuming, it, yeah, I can't really achieve that just by talking into it. But you can get the quality to be similar. It's actually a voice synthesizer. <clears throat> well, here we go. Tommy Wizzle. I did not. Did not. Cool noise. Oh, you gotta pick the right one. Oh! Be gone! I just realized Tommy's name in the room is Johnny. The priest's name is John, and her name is Lisa. It's just a coincidence. Or this is just a brand new version of the room in game form. And then after all this, they end up at a Denny's. It's true, I am currently in a room. That's true. What or what? Oh shit. That was great. Good demo. Really good demo. The Animations, solid as always. The atmosphere is perfect. It's another really good uh, version of Faith. 
and I think this will definitely make a good ending to the trilogy. It's Lu it really is the Luigi's Mansion 3.